Favorite colors. My very favorite color is purple. There are not a lot of things that are purple. Some grapes are purple. Sometimes the sky looks purple. My second favorite color is blue. Some things are blue. The sky is blue and water is blue. Many people have blue eyes. Green is a very common color in nature. Trees are green in the summer. Some trees are green all year long. Grass is green. Sometimes water looks green. Many people have green eyes. Many vegetables are green: broccoli, cabbage, beans, lettuce, peas, and cucumbers are all green. Green vegetables are very good for you. Yellow is a bright color. The sun looks yellow. Bananas are yellow. Some people have yellow hair. Daffodils and dandelions are yellow. White is a common color, especially in the winter. Snow is white. Clouds are white. Polar bears, some dogs, and some cats are white. There are white flowers that grow. Some flowers are red. Roses can be red. Blood is red. Sometimes the sky is red at night or in the morning. Artists use all these colors to make beautiful paintings. Nature used all these colors to make the beautiful earth. We are fortunate to be surrounded by beauty. We should do our part to make sure that nature stays beautiful and clean. Making friends. I used to be very shy. I would not go up to someone that I did not know and say hello. I was afraid that people would not want to talk to me. I have changed. I have become less shy. I have learned that making friends is easy to do. All you have to do is say hello. Most people will respond to a smile and a friendly hello. People will begin to talk to you about little things in their lives. You will soon realize that you have something in common with that person. Whenever I start talking to a new person, I find that there is some interest that we share. Maybe we know some of the same people, or we went to the same school. Often we find that we like the same music or the same movies. It is easy to have a conversation with someone once you find a topic that you can both relate to. The most important part in making friends is to listen to what the other person says. If you take an interest in them, they are sure to take an interest in you. I have learned many things from meeting people. I have had many fascinating conversations, and I have made a lot of good friends. One day, a girl came up to me and said that she was lost. She couldn't find her way to her English class. I said that I was going to that class too. I told her to come with me. We began talking, and we became very good friends. That was a few years ago. She is still one of my best friends. Just think, if she hadn't been lost, we might never have become friends. Getting old. My grandfather is getting old. When I was younger. My grandfather would carry me on his shoulders, and we would go for a walk. Now my grandfather cannot put me on his shoulders. He has a hard time walking, and he uses a cane. My grandfather used to have lots of hair. Now he is bald. His skin doesn't look like it used to. It is more wrinkled. My grandfather takes more naps than he used to. He goes to the doctors and takes pills for his heart. I love my grandfather very much. I don't like the fact that he is getting older, but my mother says that growing older is just a fact of life. She says that we will all get older. Sometimes my grandfather forgets things. My mother says to be patient. I am patient. I try to help my grandfather as much as I can. I sometimes go for walks with him. I help him to walk when he has trouble. I cheer him up if I think he might be sad. I get things for him, and I even read to him at night. He used to read to me when I was little. Now his eyesight is bad, and he can't see very well. My grandfather tells me stories about when he was a boy. The world was a very different place then. He tells me, 
His stories are interesting. Sometimes I wish we could trade places for a day so that I would know what it felt like to be old. My grandfather doesn't complain. He jokes about his old bones. I spend a lot of time with my grandfather. I hope that he is around for a long time. Time. Time is something you should never waste. Once an hour is gone, it is gone forever. You should make the most of every minute. Time is a funny thing. Some days go by so slowly. Those are the days that you do things that aren't fun. When you are having fun, time just flies by. Time is made up of different units. Seconds turn into minutes. Minutes turn into hours. Hours turn into days. Days turn into weeks. Weeks turn into months, and months turn into years. We measure our lives by time. We are very concerned with time. Even little children are very conscious of time. Little children often want to appear older. So if you ask a three-year-old how old he is, he will often say three and a half. Many of our sayings are based on time. Give me a minute. Hold on a second. I'm running out of time. Time's up. I just want an hour of your time. All of these are common things that we say, and they're all based on time. We are a society that lives by the clock. We almost all wear watches, and we glance at our watches a lot. Time is something that we can't see, but it is a big factor in our lives. How many times a day do you look at a watch or a clock? I bet you'd be surprised at just how many times you do. Amy. Amy was a girl who came into our classroom. She had many things wrong with her. Amy was in a wheelchair and she couldn't talk. She couldn't make her hands and feet do what she wanted them to do. We wondered why Amy would even be in our class because she really couldn't do much of anything. Amy had a teaching assistant. Who had to stay with her all the time. One day, the teaching assistant got called away. I had to look after Amy. I was afraid to look after her. I really didn't know what to do. I sat beside Amy and I smiled at her. She smiled back at me. I never realized before she had such a nice smile. Amy made a noise. It seemed like she wanted a crayon that was lying beside her. I put the crayon into her hand. She had trouble holding it, but eventually she got the crayon into her hand well enough so that she could make marks on the paper that was on the tray in front of her. Amy spent a long time making marks on the paper. She tried so hard to create whatever it was that she was drawing. She worked for a long time. I just watched her, and I gave her a lot of credit for not giving up when she obviously had so many problems. When she was finally done, she picked up the paper with great difficulty. With a look of pride on her face, she handed me the picture. It was for me. I was very touched that she spent all that time drawing something for me. I thanked Amy and smiled at her. I told her I loved the picture. I still have that picture, although I'm not sure what it is a picture of. I learned a lot from Amy that day. I saw a brave girl who wouldn't give up. Whenever I think my problems are too big to handle, I think of Amy and I remember her smile. Memories. Somebody once asked me what the most valuable things that I owned were. I thought about that for a long time. Then I realized that most of the things that I had could be replaced. What I would not be able to replace were the photographs that I had of my friends and family. Photographs are memories that are captured on film. Some of the photographs are of people who are no longer with us. I would hate to lose them. Memories are precious. They are all we have sometimes to link us to days gone by. I remember the good times. I try to relive them in my mind sometimes. I remember the sad times. Some of the sad memories are painful, but they are all a part of my life, and I don't want to lose any of my memories. People come into our lives, and people leave our lives. 
but most people leave a memory for us. I have lots of memories, and when I look at my photographs, the memories come flooding back into my brain. I remember what people were like when they were younger. I remember vacations that I took. I remember days that seemed ordinary at the time, but you never get to relive even the ordinary days. Memories are so precious. Cherish your memories and keep them in a place close to your heart. Roommate Wanted Spacious two bedroom apartment with kitchen facilities. On the bus route to Brock University. Looking for a quiet female roommate. Must be a non smoker. Available from September 1, $300 a month. Hydro is included. Call Barb after 5, 905 111 1111. For sale, 10 speed men's bike for sale. Excellent condition, $100 or best offer. Call Fred, 905 111 Apartment for rent. Three bedroom apartment in the downtown area, $450 a month. Within walking distance to stores and bus route. Utilities not included. Call 905 111 Please leave a message on the machine and I will get back to you. Roommate wanted. Responsible, quiet roommate wanted to share two bedroom apartment. Some furniture included. First and last month's rent required. $300 a month. Utilities included. Call before 6. 905-111-1111. Ask for George. Help wanted. Friendly, reliable person wanted to work part time hours at shoe store. No experience necessary. We will train you. Please leave resume at Friendly Feet Shoe Store, 34 Main Street, Niagara Falls. For sale. Textbooks for sale. Included are second year English and American history texts. Excellent condition. For a complete list of texts, call Marie at 905 111 anytime after 5. Upper half of duplex for rent. Within walking distance to Brock University. Two bedrooms and balcony. Laundry facilities in basement. Very spacious and clean. Hydro not included. References required. $700 per month. Call 905-111-1111 and ask for Mr. Bridges. For Mr. Places to live. I live in a house. My house is in a town. My uncle lives in an apartment building. His apartment building is in a busy city. My cousin lives in a dormitory in a school. He shares his room with a classmate. My uncle lives out in the country. He lives on a farm. The police caught a criminal. Now the criminal lives in prison. When I go to summer camp, I live in a tent. When my parents go on vacation, they live in a motel or a hotel. A motel only has one or two floors. A hotel Usually has many floors. My aunt and uncle live in a trailer. They like to move around from place to place. My friends live in a cottage by a lake. My grandfather lives in a retirement home. Many people who are about the same age as he live there. I would like to live in a palace. I think you have to be a king or a queen or a prince or a princess to live in a palace. Bathroom. There is a bathtub in my bathroom. On the wall over the bathtub, there is a shower head. We have a shower curtain hanging on the rod over the bathtub. If you want to take a shower, we close the curtain. There is soap and shampoo in the bathroom. The soap is used for washing yourself, and the shampoo is used to wash your hair. Towels are hanging on the racks. 
There are washcloths or face cloths to wash yourself with. The sink has hot and cold taps. There is a plug for the drain. When you pull the plug, the water runs out of the sink. There is a toilet in the bathroom. When you flush the toilet, the water swooshes out of it. There is toilet tissue hanging beside the toilet. We keep other things in the bathroom too. There is a medicine cabinet which holds painkillers, toothpaste, and makeup. My mother likes to wear a lot of makeup on her face. There is also hairspray and gel. There are brushes and combs for our hair. There are toothbrushes and dental floss for our teeth. We only have one bathroom, so we line up to use it. It is good to have more than one bathroom in a house. The bedroom. My bed is nice and soft. I have a pretty bedspread on my bed. I have sheets and a blanket on my bed also. I use two feather pillows. My pillows have pillowcases on them. My dresser has a mirror on it. I have a lamp on top of my dresser. I also have some picture frames with pictures of my friends and family on top of my dresser. There is an alarm clock beside my bed so that I can wake up on time in the morning. I keep many clothes in my dresser drawers. The drawers are nice and deep. My closet is large. It is a walk-in closet. I have my clothes hanging in my closet. All of the clothes are hung on hangers. My shoes are all lined up on the floor of my closet. There are shelves at the top of my closet. I keep games up there. There is a rug on my bedroom floor. My bedroom window looks out over the backyard. There are curtains on my bedroom window. My bedroom is very cozy. At night, I turn off the lamp and get under the covers. I set my alarm clock for seven o'clock. I lay my head on the pillow, and I fall asleep.